Meet the keyboard that internet dickheads are already calling the Tifu Tofu. That is kind of funny though. In a wildly unexpected move, Novel Keys and streamer Tifu have teamed up for a capsule that includes a couple desk mat designs plus highly branded versions of both the NK65 and NK87 entry editions. They got this retro pixel pink lemonade vibe, and I think they killed it with this. The attention to detail is pretty bananas all the way down to the box. Tifu may have the best looking package I've ever seen. We've got two different desk mats in 900 by 400 a pink and a purple. These are four millimeter stitched edges and these are going for only 20 bucks. You can also step up to the mega pad, which measures a whopping Pete Davidson 1200 by 600 for only $35. Pricing here feels very generous, very accessible for fans of Tifu. love to see it. Right off the rip, I wanna be super clear about one thing, since this video will probably go out to a wider audience than my normal viewers, you don't have to take these boards apart for any reason. You can tune and tweak these, but you don't have to. They're designed to come right out of the box to your desk, and for most of you, that would be perfectly fine. The NK65 is a complete build priced at 175, and it's custom down to the socks. You have a bright yellow polycarbonate case with a retro X design repeating on the underside with long rubber feet in pink. We also have the Tifu branding on the very front of the case, lower right, and the press start graphics on the back, leading to the right side mounted USB-C port. Keycaps here are Cherry Profile, Die Sub, PBT, off-white base with a pixelated font in pink and secondary legends in that light yellow. You do get novelties in the set which come pre-installed including the Tifu inner key, the yellow escape key, the pink space bar, as well as the press start modifiers. The board also includes vanilla versions of all these caps for a cleaner look. Switches are custom recolors of the NK silk yellows with a transparent housing and a pink stem. Factory lubed with 205 grade zero. This is batch two with the improved lube job and they feel good, sound good, stock. These are linears, 45 grams with a two millimeter actuation. This is a hot swap board with all South facing sockets and five pin support. We've got per key RGB. And even though the caps aren't shine through, the white PC plate and the transparent housing on the stems make for serious brightness on the RGB. This can all be adjusted in VIA, of course, because both of these boards are VIA compatible. We do still have the silicone dampening layer in between the plate and the PCB, and we've still got that big chunky silicone wedge in the bottom as well. The NK65 entry was the first board on the scene for this mass produced polycarbonate entry level style of board, and it really only drew a couple criticisms. Number one, the screws went directly into the plastic, so if you opened your board, you ran the risk of stripping those. This has been corrected in these newer versions as we now have metal threads embedded into the case. The other issue is that it had plate mount stabilizers, which unfortunately we do still see here. If you're not super into keyboards, these are what can make the larger keys on your board rattle. And plate mounts like these aren't as stable in the board as PCB mounted, you can't see that housing wobble in there. These are lubed from the factory, but enthusiasts will probably want to re-lube these. They're super easy to get out without taking the board apart, or you can just hit them with a the syringe if you don't even want to do that. Once you get those stabilizers situated, this board sounds and feels really good. The typing feel is on the firmer side, like there's no flex or bounce, but the bottom out is soft. The combination of silicone dampening and a polycarbonate case works really well on these little boards. This board sounds a lot better than the very expensive polycarbonate version of the cyber board that we just looked at. This 65% layout is a lot more common now than it was a couple years back, so aftermarket keycap compatibility is really not an issue. Just have to be aware of the shorter right shift and the three single U mods to the right of that space bar. Also included, you get a pink spiral keyboard cable as well as a switch puller, a nice heavy keycap puller, and a zippered carry bag. So the NK87 version of this board is the TKO or the 10 keyless version. It sees a $20 markup to $195. The case here is exactly color flipped, so the case is pink and the feet are yellow. All the keycap colors stay the same, but the cable here is yellow instead of pink. The TKO gives you access to a dedicated function row with an F13 key, and the bottom row changes to what's called a Sangan layout with a longer spacebar. This can actually make it trickier to grab aftermarket caps though, because the spacebar is longer and the mods are longer as well. I'm pretty sure that every kit Novel Key sells has support for this, but be careful if you're shopping other kits. The internal design is mostly the same, but this board has silicone dampeners inside to isolate the top from the bottom. The 87 has screw-in PCB mount stabs and overall sounds a lot better to me stock. They're generously lubed here as well. Most people would never even touch these, but I'll still lube the space bar again. With PCB mount stabs, you normally have to take the whole board apart to do this, so a lube syringe is definitely the move here.
This board sounds pretty muted, and like the 65, it does have a firmer typing feel, no flex, no bounce, but it is still really soft on bottom out. You can't experiment with pulling that lower silicone out if you want to hear how that sounds. I've done a full review where I did that already on an entry edition. I will link that if you want to check that out. The only negative thing I will say about the 87 is that it's a really large board to be made of this thin polycarbonate. When you're just typing on the board, it feels totally fine. If you go squeezing around on it or twisting it, you will get some flex and some creak, which one, why would you? And two, I think it's very forgivable at this price point. Be aware too that with this material, you may have some imperfections in your board. Novel Keys usually does a really good job about being upfront about this before you decide to buy. If you like these keycaps, but you're not in the market for a completely new board, Novel Keys also has just the keycap set available for 110 bucks. That may seem pricey given the cost of the complete boards, but these are big kits. You have compatibility for seriously almost every layout you can think of. These are nice and thick, they have a good sound, and they should be durable for the long term. All in all, I think Novel Keys and Tfue crushed it with this capsule. I feel like the biggest piece of criticism will be that they would have looked cleaner without the branding on the front side, and the aesthetic obviously is not going to be for everyone, but this colorway hits for me. I love that they easily could have charged more for completely built themed boards with a big name like Tifu attached, but they didn't, and they didn't skimp on the quality of the product to do it either. I think the 87 is the more complete package, but the NK65 will always have a special place in my heart. I just love that little board. I love the sound and the feel, even with the plate mount stabs. These should be open now for pre-sale and are expected to start shipping out sometime in early Q4. I love to see a collab like this because we really do live in a time where you can take your talent or a hobby that you're really passionate about and grow that into a following and maybe some big opportunities like this. Branding is essential when it comes to putting yourself out there. Every time I have a new idea, the first thing I do is grab all my socials and a domain name. And for that, I recommend Hover the sponsor of today's video. One of the big things I like about Hover is that they focus purely on domain names. So I have the security of having my domain name separate from my hosting service. That means as my online presence grows or changes over time, I can move freely to whatever hosting service I want and I don't have to worry about going through an unlock process for my domain. My hosting needs may change, but my domain name, how people find me online, that's my brand. And I don't want that tied to something I don't have complete control over. Hover also has over 400 domain extensions in case the .com feels a little too dated for you. you can have .tv, .tech, or .live, you can really customize it for your brand. And a big thing having your own domain does for you professionally is it gives you a great looking email. Like I can have brian at badseedtech.com and not badseedtech at same generic email everyone else has.com. And right now you can help support the channel and save 10% off any of the 400 domain extensions they offer by going to hover.com slash badseedtech. Big thanks to Hover for continuing to support the channel and thank you so much for your time. Coming up next, I think we have the Sonnet from Mode Keyboards. I am trying to get some good audio coverage out there for you audio guys just hang in there that's it for today and i will catch you all in the next one stay up <laughs>